Hey guys, I'm chilling here, masked up on Lobe's Way, just hanging out. But I was just reminded of a Bible verse coming out of Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. And it says, Therefore, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, so walk with him. So um, I think we take a walk. Um, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sean, and I am applying to be a life leader here at GCU. Um, and so one question that I've heard a lot is, uh, what is the gospel? Non-believers ask me, what is, the, what is the gospel message? And how do I explain that? And so to me, the gospel message is the good news of Jesus Christ. And it's, it's a, literally, it's a four books in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but they all recount the same story of Jesus' uh, his ministry, his life, his death, and his resurrection. Um, but to understand the significance of that, you kind of got to understand a little bit deeper uh, what it meant. And so in the beginning, God created everything, including us humans. And he said that humans were very good. Uh, that was until humans sinned and that's just stepping away from god's will and uh the bible says all people have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god um and the punishment of the sin it's harsh it's eternal death and not just eternal death as in we're gonna die everyone dies but this eternal death is separation from god forever and uh god didn't want that god created us to be in community with him so he sent jesus to live and die and resurrect in order to take the punishment for our sins and that's just a super awesome story and uh the bible even says in john 3 16 whoever believes in him this is jesus by the way himself whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life god sent his one and only son so whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life i mean that's just so powerful that the gospel is not just the good news of, of jesus but it's the good news to us that we don't have to pay the price of eternal death for our sins and um following this jesus guy what does that mean well uh the bible throws around this word called disciple and the disciples were these 12 uh these 12 guys who followed jesus around during his three years of ministry and in the same way us modern christians are called to be disciples too um those disciples learn from jesus they love jesus and they listen to jesus's commands and in the same way we read the bible to learn about jesus um i do that by attending bible studies and other bible groups on campus as well as staying active in my local church attending services um, and we're challenged to follow Jesus' commands, where uh, his final command, the Great Commission, was to go and make disciples of all nations. And continuing this trend and this circle of creating disciples, I mean, the actual verse says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And I do that by serving in my church, in the kids' ministry and the students' ministry, with fifth, sixth, and seventh graders, teaching them about Jesus, uh, helping, them, helping them to grow in their own discipleship, and uh, continuing that pattern that Jesus laid out in the Great Commission.